Hello everyone, Geneva coming in here. Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to <clears throat> using this phone to record. Alright, I'm just coming in here to read the most recent posting on the blog a daughter of Messiah One dot blogspot.com. I'll leave a link down there in the description box. Um, this one Sister Carla posted last Tuesday and it is called You Belong to Me. These are words from the Lord um, that are so amazing. I mean, that He would speak to us through people like Sister Carla is amazing. Um, so I'm just going to do what I usually do. I'll read from it, um, and then I'll, uh, you know, say the scriptures that the Lord gave her for these. So, as I said, this one's called, You Belong to Me. Daughter, write these words. I have seen your tears, tears of hurt and pain. I know your heart's longings, for I created you. I know your desires to please me, your stumbling and shortcomings. Am I not aware of all things? Yes, I'm aware of even the smallest details of your life. All life is in my hands. Praise the Lord. There are times you feel alone, frustrated, and forgotten. But remember, dear child, you belong to me. I never forget or abandon my own. Many times I take you through times of testing to teach you how to depend on me. Times I must show you that without me you can do nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Frustration is a sign you are not walking in faith. To build up your faith you must pray and ask me to help you and strengthen you from within. My word is your daily bread to sustain you. And in my word you find life like a flower. It must be nourished to thrive. So must you be nourished. My word can sustain you for every situation in your life. Amen. Trust me to show you how to walk in my ways. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Sometimes you understand and times you struggle. Lean on me to be your teacher and yield to my promptings. I will give you understanding and help you with your weaknesses. If you call on me now, you will be able to grow and learn to hear me in all the areas needed to walk in faith. Trust me, dear child. I love you with an everlasting love. Call on me for direction. I will show you. Ask in faith and waver not in your heart and I will teach you and sustain you in all things. Thank you, Yeshua, Jesus, for this word. I love you. Wow. So amazing. I love the Lord, and He loves us so much. Um, I wanted to mention that last part where He says, I love you with an everlasting love. That's from Jeremiah 31, 3. Part and Part of that verse is, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. I, I love that verse. I always have. Um, and now I'm going to list all the scriptures that the Lord gave Sister Carla for this word. And these are all from the NIV. Alright, the first one is Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Praise the Lord. Deuteronomy 31.8 The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid or be discouraged. 1 Chronicles 28.9 And you, my son Solomon, acknowledge the God of your father, 
and serve him with wholehearted devotion and with a willing mind. For the Lord, so, sorry, for the Lord searches every heart and understands every desire and every thought. And I looked that one up. It also says at the end, um, for the Lord searches every heart and understands every motive behind the thoughts. Same difference. Um, Isaiah 41, 13. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. And John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. And Acts 15, 8. God, who knows the heart, showed that he accepted them by giving the Holy Spirit to them, just as he did to us. And this was Peter speaking. Uh, and then Philipp Philippians 1, 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And then Hebrews 11, 6 from the faith chapter. And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists, and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. I've always loved that verse. Um, another uh, version of that says, you know, he rewards those who diligently seek him. So I looked that word up too to get, you know, basically he's saying he's a rewarder of them that highly value seeking him. That's amazing. And he, wow, does he ever reward you? He, re he rewards you with, with things that are almost undescribable sometimes, best way to put it. So, all right, and the next one is Psalm 9, <clears throat> excuse me, Psalm 910. Those who know your name will trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. And then Psalm 54, 4. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. And Psalm 94, 14. For the Lord will not reject his people. He will, forsake, he will never forsake his inheritance. Beautiful word. Beautiful as usual from the Lord. Um, you know, he just wants to speak to whoever's watching this video. You know, he loves all of us. So you belong to him as long as you've accepted him and put faith in him, accepted him as your savior. Um, he still loves you if you haven't yet, but I'm just saying, you know, if you have, you know, there's nothing like it. There's just nothing like it. Um, but he's saying to us, you, watching this video, belongs to him. Christ, Jesus, Yeshua. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, he loves us with an everlasting love, a love so deep that it's almost incomprehensible. Um, you know, the closeness that he... I, like I said, it's kind of hard to describe sometimes how beautiful and the amazing things that he can do. I'm just ha having a hard time um, putting it into words. But if you haven't given your heart yet to Christ, if you haven't accepted him as Lord of your life, now is the time. I mean, he loves... He loves everyone so deeply. There, there's, you know, the enemy just does so many things in our lives to distract us and keep us away from the love of Christ. But I, I'm just telling you, you know, um, you know, my life used to be a lot different when I was younger, a lot different, and. It's just amazing what he can do to you. He'll turn your whole life completely around. And, you know, once you start seeing life through his eyes, 
it changes everything. And if you're, I've always said this about depression also, if you're depressed, it's a sign you're putting too much emphasis on yourself. That's what Christianity is. We put our focus on Him and in the things He's done, and He's won it all. He's won everything. He's won every battle. You know, when we put our focus on Him, it's amazing and beautiful. You know, then we don't focus on ourselves and get depressed like the enemy wants us and everything else. It's all about God. It's always been about Him. It's always going to be about Him. Why not say yes now while there's still time? This world's getting crazier and crazier every day. You know, um, the Lord Himself, through this blog that I do videos of, has said now a couple times, war is coming. You know, we have a lot of stuff coming to us. He showed me through dreams and visions all kinds of stuff, crazy stuff coming. If you haven't given your life to Christ yet, please do so while you still can. He loves each and every one of us so deeply. Our, our, our Abba, our Father in Heaven, loves us so deeply that He gave us His only begotten Son. That's so deep. It's so deep if you just think about it. You know, could any of us give our kids, you know, sacrifice our child, our only child, you know, for at the time, nothing but sinners? It's so deep if you think about it. So please, please give your life to Christ while he may still be found. All right, I love you, but more important, God loves you watching this video. All right. Bye-bye.